apocalyptic red skies. Turn my team back. It's almost beautiful. It wasn't so horrifying. Well, Thunderbird, you're not too angry, are you? What's who's by the that by the door? Who? Oh, comma. What are you doing back? Eh? Kama? What are you doing here? Situation looks rather grim. Should probably leave this island. Eh, it looks rather grim. Yeah, the sky's looking all strange and stuff. This Tsurumi Island is about to be destroyed. And then everything will start again. Hmm. How many times have you seen the cycle, comma? Did you used to actually care and then gave up? Maybe. Ah, that's the thing that you talked about yesterday. However, it seems that things are even more serious than when I came here previously. Perhaps it's because you destroyed those perches. Yeah. The name of the child you're trying to help it's Rue, right? Yes. If we want to break the cycle and free Rue, now is the time. Oh, what do you have in mind? Please, anything. That's why I'm here. To help. Did Miss Sumita ask you to do it? <laughs> yeah. Did she? No. I've come here of my own accord. Wow. You actually care, don't you? What? You're volunteering, comma. I don't know why either. I just feel like I should be here. How should I describe that feeling? Ah, right. It's like this. Perhaps I simply find it intolerably shameless for me to play the fly on the wall as you boldly step into Surumi Island. Hey. I guess you're just here to finish what your ancestor started. Well... I suppose your ancestor specifically didn't do anything other than leave. Perhaps I believe that even illusions have feelings, and so I would do ill by allowing them to suffer in this cycle. Or perhaps I simply think that I might help Rue break, or help Rue by breaking this perpetual ocean of fog, and in fulfilling the wishes of my ancestors, I shall be freed from the history that binds me. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps. Huh. Kama, since when were you... So eloquent and loquacious. So much like a light novelist. Those are Miss Sumida's words, weren't they? <laughs> uh, yes, Lady Sumida did speak these words. When I told her that I would like to help, she suddenly gained a spark of inspiration did not understand what she said, but I believe that since Lady Sumida said so, then that must be how things are. Man, it is almost a creepy level of devotion you have to her. That sounds like her style, all right. Still, I want things yesterday's events have ma probably made Rue too angry to talk to us. Well, I think the Thunderbird's anger is... The Thunderbird's anger is probably the bigger problem. I know. Lady Sumida said that, in this manner, the bloodline spanning in millennia shall... Could we lose the verbatim quotes? We shall... I believe that... We shall... I believe that... Kama... That is to say, I... Can speak to him. Yeah. I mean, you look just like Kama. And you are Kama, so fair. Hmm. You, there is a very strong resemblance, yes. Rue did also mention that being unable to speak to those illusions weirded him out and worried him. Yeah. It's the fact that he's more like us than like them really has me worried about him. 
So being able to talk to you should cheer him right up. Hmm, where do we find Rue? There's a few places that Storm doesn't touch. Oh, you're right. Wakuka, Wakukau, Oina, Otake. He did mention that these places wouldn't be hit by lightning under these circumstances. Those are the places where we sort of got the uh, three groups of illusions, right? And, or no, are those where the uh, the perches we destroyed are? And those would be his hiding spots where he'd wait out the storm. Well, let's go looking then. Let's start with Waku Kau Shoal. Yes, let's. Kama seems pretty enthusiastic today, eh? Well, for Kama. The weather's getting worse and worse. Hmm. I'm really assuming to her plot setup. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Real life is not like light novels. Oh, good. You can actually not die from the storm. Oh. Yikes. What is she trying to communicate? Well, this isn't actually her excellency. This is, um... I gotta get hit by one. Here we go. I was hoping there'd be a, a uh, achievement for that. Yeah, no, this is a different god's wrath, not her excellency. Come on, Kama's got a question. Kama's name means a very big rock. <laughs> it does seem like it. Yeah, it does seem like it fits. Ow! Oh, no, we're good. Oh, hey, a Rift Wolf is running rampant. Huh. So the storm really doesn't reach this place. It was reaching this place just a second ago. But Paimon doesn't see Rue anywhere either. Rue. Rue. Come on, Kama, you try. Where are you? We're here to help. Looks like nobody's home. All right. Ugh. What? No, no, no. Not like that. We're looking for someone, something more like... Rue, it's Kama. Where are you? <laughs> yes. But no, I think something's happening to him, Paimon. Rue, it's Kama. Where are you? Still no response. Oh, Plymouth's getting worried. Still, why is there no thunder or lightning here? Hmm. Well, since it was the Thunderbird who destroyed Tsurumi Island, we try using the power of the feather. Hmm, yeah. That's worth a try. Since Rue said it's one of the Thunderbird's feathers, we might get some reaction. Yeah. Uh oh, here they come. Gather. Shine down. Witness the power of the rock. Rain outlines your fate. Sakura swirl. Here we go. And. Inazuma shines eternal. Ha! Whirling snow. There is no escape. Not bad at all. A bunch of concealing claws. Alright. Um. Anything? Wrong bird? Hey, yikes, be careful! Solidify! Shine monsters. down! Rain outlines your question. Take flight! Where are you? Oh, hey, another 
mighty lava churl. Stabilize. Let me weave you a I think that was a rune though that we heard calling in on. Is this a feather? Where? What feather, Paimon? Body and mind. What are you talking? Oh, right here. Another one. Come, oh, damn it! There we go. Huh? What's this? Looks like a feather. Let's touch it. You touch it, Paimon. Whoa! Be careful. Search motion. Search for if you see an island. Like voices of the land. Do -do -do. Horse, human squirrels, lizards, and then Kamui. When Kamui? Damn it! I only got the first paragraph. Alice! Hey, Alice! I think I was seeing things through the Thunderbird's perspective, though. I'll catch the rest in post, but still. What happened? That was close. You were just frozen to the spot back there. Hmm. Oh, where's the feather going? Ah, it flew away. What happened? Paimon was right sick, you know. Uh, it seems that I was drawn into the Thunderbird's memories. Eh? The Thunderbird? The same one that destroyed Tsurumi Island? Hmm, I can't be sure. Hmm, if that's the case, I mean, it's the logical conclusion, but... It's just like Lady Tsumita said. The will of the Thunderbird will resurface. If that, in that case, the voice... <laughs> oh, sorry, Kama. In that case, the voice that we heard during the battle. Was it a hallucination? It might have been the Thunderbird. Hmm, Paimon's very curious now. It's almost like the Thunderbird was looking for someone. Looking... For Kama or looking for Rue, perhaps. It does like Rue. But Rue was hiding. Hmm. And when it couldn't find Rue, it went off to the other island and was slain? I don't know. Still, that feather did sure sure did bring about some kind of reaction, huh? Yes, it did. Yes. I saw you take out a strange feather earlier. Where did you get that? From the Thunderbird's grave. Well, this is how it went. Amu Amakumo Peak. Huh. So the feathers of the Thunderbird were the basis for the Mashiro. And can summon spirits. Oh yeah. They also go boom. I was told these legends by my grandfather as he taught me how to make those Maoshiro. Oh, so you can make them, huh? Yeah, we already went over this, Paimon. Then couldn't you just have made one for Lady... Uh, Sumida? Well, because Lady Sumida did not ask. But if I should have the chance to help her in the future, I will mention this matter. I'm pretty sure we mentioned that already. Or maybe it was just one of my thoughts. Still... What shall we do next? The direction in which the feather flew away doesn't quite match up with Oina Beach or Aotake Plains. Hmm. Surumi Island is in a lot of danger. We don't have much time. Yes, and we are on borrowed time as well. This will all start again once the thunder stops. Right. We'd have to start the cycle over. That's less than ideal. Yep, and Rue said that things get real wild when the thunder starts coming down. Well, let's forget about the feather's whereabouts for now. We've got to get to the other spots where there's no thunder and look for Rue there. All right, then. Next stop, Oina Beach. I feel like we're going to find two more feathers. One in each spot. As long as we can talk to him, there's hope. Speaking of which, Kama's... Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> he is a really big rock. Oh, man. Yeah, those go way, way too fast to read. Even just without um, trying to do it out loud, it's still quite difficult. Oof. You KO Charles, you're gonna die. Just got zapped out of the air there. Oh, hey, yeah, that's a normal uh, chest. There we go. Alright. And just as before, let's use the feather. Let's see. This one? No. We're uh, right here. Oh, hello. Stabilize. There is no. Not here either. Could it be? Hmm. Yeah, I think that is the Thunderbird. Shine We're gonna get another um Let me weave feather. The fourth I actually feel kind of bad for the Thunderbird. My apologies. The fools tried to sacrifice its favorite child, and it destroyed them in wrathful retribution, and then was unable to find the poor child because he hid. Probably fled the island afterwards. At least that's what I'm gathering. This feather's just like the last one. Hmm. Don't worry, Paimon will watch over you. Thank you, Paimon. Motions go forth. Do, do, do. Man, that went even faster. But it sounds to me like the, from what I gathered, the bird didn't actually care about the fog. Hmm. But then the furless humans. That's a fun way to refer to them. Something, something. I didn't catch quite the last line. Chase the monsters away. Ah, Alice, you're back. Saw you were calling for Rue again. It's probably going to the peak. This one flew away too. Doesn't look like Rue's here either. Yeah. Feather's target seems to have been the mountain of the cent at the center of the island. Kama, do you know anything about that mountain? Mount Kana? It was there the Thunderbird re It was there the Thunderbird reposed. That place is in fact a hollow cavern from which the Thunderbird would Thunderbird would take off into the skies like a violet meteor that could be seen seen even through the fog. It was said by the people of Surumi Island that the Thunderbird dispersed that mysterious fog to protect the island. Hmm. That conflicts with what I saw in those memories. Eh? So you're saying... Damn it, actually relate them again. But, you know, slower. This fog wasn't created by the Thunderbird? No. Right, because the, the, it's the, the people thought the fog was protecting them from the darkness and encroaching darkness. But yeah, the Thunderbird had nothing to do with it at all. They just sort of attributed it to the Thunderbird. Huh. Perhaps our ancestors were wrong. That's pretty typical fear. People attributing things they don't understand to, uh, you know, gods and the like. Very standard ancient world stuff. Well, that's understandable. Considering that you can barely see the sun or the moon from down here. Maybe the Thunderbird's light was the only light they'd ever seen. Hmm. Maybe. Speaking of your ancestors. Ah, that's right. We saw someone who looked like an ancient version of you, Kama. Here's what went down. You talk about Sayo. Kama from earlier. And that's what happened. 
They seemed to be pretty friendly with Rue. They did. Hmm. That may truly have been my ancestor. So, did the ancient Kama meet Sayo after leaving Surumi Island? The records don't say anything about that. Huh? Or huh? Well, where shall we go next? Oh, we have one more location. We'll keep looking for Rue, of course. Let's see what the next spot is. It's uh, the Aatake Plains, I think. Yeah, we've been there before, too. Well, then, let's go. Yeah. I do hope we find him, too. But I don't think we will. The bird didn't find him. I assume it had taught us me how. <laughs> I wish it was voiced or something. That'd make it not as big a deal about how fast it was passing. I hope the fog is gone here. Oh, no. <laughs> He's rolling off factory senses. That's great. Also, I don't think we can get lost anymore in here. Didn't seem like it anyways. This is the last possible location. Rue! Rue, we're here to help! Rue! Rue. Ooh. Eh? What's that weird, no weird noise? Yikes! Monsters, be careful! Yeah, it's the, it's definitely the Thunderbird. Gather. There we go. Only the one, huh? Oh, Rue, you are here. I didn't think you would be. Alice, Paimon, didn't I tell you not to come here anymore? It's good to see you're all right. This place is super dangerous. There's thunder and lightning everywhere. And if you get struck by lightning, you'll get hurt. Oh, yes, I know. It's happened to us far too many times. And I don't know why, but it looks like the storm's getting scarier than before. Must be because you hurt that perch. Why did you come back? Well, we brought someone to see you. Also because we're not going to abandon you. Rue, we brought Kama to see you. Kama? I'm back. Aw. It's what he needs to hear. Big brother Kama. Is that really you? Asterisk. Eh? Wait. Are you an illusion? Are you an illusion too, comma? Oh. Lady Sumida told me to say this. Yeah. Sarah. <laughs> hey, he's reading from a script. It's what Rue needs to hear. Come on. This isn't the time for tricks. Oh. Sorry. The Kama you knew f led a full life after leaving Surumi Island. His greatest regret was not being able to help you. Aww. Yeah. I'm a descendant of his. Alice, Paimon, and I are here to help you. Descendant? Are you his son then? Um, A few generations off. I'm afraid you're quite a few generations off. Wait, I don't get it. Descendants. Does that mean that Big Brother Kama's no longer around? No. It's been a long it's been a long time, you know. Sorry, Rue. What happened to him after he left? He lived a long full life. I waited for so, so long until Surumi Island started looking like this. He and Big Brother and Big Sister Sayo never returned. I've been so worried. Oh, man. Just living the cycle over and over, waiting for Kama to return. Well, I do know a little about what happened to the Kama you knew. If you'd like to listen, I could tell you. That'd be great. Hmm. Good job, Paimon. So many things happened in the outside world, huh? Oh, yeah. 
I never knew that the world beyond the fog was so big, but that it had so many people. Oh, yeah. The changing nature of Surumi Island is the abnormal thing here. Or the unchanging nature. Yeah, it is really weird. A remnant of the Thunderbird's power. Or perhaps Rue's desires mixed with the Thunderbird's power. Well, I wonder about that. Yep, and that's why we're here to help. Help. But you destroyed the purchase and made Kapatsir angry. Hmm. I don't know. The ceremony goes smoothly and she accepts me and our sacrifice. Then everything will be fine again. No, Rue. The Thunderbird... I'm more conf confident now that the Thunderbird definitely didn't want to sacrifice you. And that that was the source of its anger. Might not be what the Thunderbird wants. But how would you know, Alice? You haven't met Kapatz here. She hasn't come back in so long. She must be angry. Well, the, th uh, the thing about that is she's dead. Can't say this for sure, but... Mm-hmm. Let's give it a try. Good feather here, too, yeah. Let's see what happens. No? Wrong one? No? Oh, here's the feather. Oh, little Rue. Curious tunes, tiny human. Afraid not of thunder and storms? Hmm. Eh? Is this the first time I met Kapatz here? Ah. Why it took a liking to you. Because you weren't scared of it, and it found that amusing. The adults in the village all said that I can bring peace to thunder and storms. Huh. His memory is clearer than before. Is that because Rue is here? I was too embarrassed to sing in the village, so I came here to practice. Oh, and you sang for the Thunderbird. Aw. Do you like it? <laughs> before you humans learned to make fire, the thundering storm had already swept across the ocean alongside me. With but a flap of my wings, Purple lightning will tear through the clouds like serpents. My cry shakes the ocean depths and heart of the earth. Hmm. I have heard the songs of the trees, the strains of the cloud and rain, and the melody sung by the blue flying dragon of the far north. Ooh, I wonder who that is. I have heard every trembling chorus of fox and rabbit and worm as I descended upon the land. But your song is special. It is different from that of the boar, the fish, and the Wenkamui. Right, what are the Wenkamui? I thought there was a name, but apparently not. It's a special creature or something. You're speaking all funny. I don't get it. But I guess you like my song, then. I do not know. I know, I only know that I have never heard it before. Well, then I shall sing you another tune. When you come again with thunder and rain. Mm -hmm. Your lives are fragile and puny. Perhaps you shall already have turned to dust before I remember this matter. But if you have not, then you shall sing for me again. <laughs> Aww. Everything you say is so complicated. Oh, yes. My name's Rue. What's yours? Everyone in the village calls you Great Thunderbird, but you must have a name, right? Hmm. A name? Well then, what should I call you? I mean, if I want to sing for you again, and I call out to you, what should I call you? What should I call out? I do not know. She gave me a name long ago, but I have forgotten it. Oh, who gave you the name? I do not need such things. Could it be, perhaps... A's sister that gave you the name. I don't remember her name. It 
Could have been Wen Kamui, I suppose. I do not need such a thing. But I don't think it was. I think it was like Ball. Was her name. I do not need such a thing or such things, nor have any dared to summon me thusly. Well, how about this then? Dad, I mean, Grandpa Mata, Grandpa Mata taught me a few, na uh, a few new words in the Ishin script today. Let me try using them to give you a name. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, this should do. And so I gave her the name Kana Kapatsir. Aww. Let's name you Kanaka Patsir then. Great Eagle of the Storm. That's a good name. That's a really good name, Rue. Ridiculous. Still, it matters not to me. Well, it's decided then. I need to get back now, or the adults will worry. I'll definitely sing for you again. Huh. Perhaps I shall forget you immediately, Rue. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you will, Kapatsir. I do not think you will. Well, I won't forget. See you. I can see why his precociousness rubbed off on the, the Thunderbird. Found it amusing and an interesting curiosity. Hmm. Aw, it flew away. It flew off to Mount Kama, or Mount Kana. Uh, are those Kapatsir's memories? They should be. She always remembered you. Well, you did give her a name after all. Yeah, and names are powerful things. She also remembered my promise to sing for her again. But... If that's the case, why did everyone become like this? Why did the village become like this? Well, the village pissed her off, I guess. It's punishment. Did we anger Kapatsir by not performing the ceremony correctly? I don't think this was what the Thunderbird was mad about. I see. Or, I see. I understand now, more or less. Well then... I suppose our next stop is Mount Kana. But that's sacred ground. We can't set foot there. Well, I think the Thunderbird will make an exception. Also, the Thunderbird is dead, but that's besides the point. And, uh, and Alice, Paimon, you've already come around three times, and yet things haven't gotten better. Well, you're the one who talked about the rule of three. Good omens must occur three times for good fortune to truly descend. Mm -mm. Yeah, someone did say that. And, and, you must forge past obstacles three times to succeed on the fourth. You know what? Paimon still thinks this should be called the rule of four instead. <laughs> yeah, they really should. Uh, maybe you're right, Paimon. True. You've already met with three difficulties, Alice. Paimon, that we have. I think this actually might be the final quest of this, of this chain. All right, I believe you. And since Kana, I mean, ah, just can't say words today. And since Kama, I mean, Kama's descendant has also returned, this must mean that good things are in store for us. But if thing, if good, thing, if nothing good happens, I'll be very, very mad. You hear? Don't worry. I'll bear your anger. Of course. Let's go, then. Let's head off to the mountain. Ooh. Can I call you Kama as well? Aw. Of course you can. That's what everyone calls me. Everyone? Kama? You have a lot of friends? <laughs> oh, they count us as their... Uh, he counts us as his friend? Sweet. I'm. Oh, I appreciate that, comma. All right, climbing this mountain is going to be a pain. 
There must be an easier way to get up, right, than actually climbing. Like that electro. Hello! Electro. Um. Granus here. Let's look for Granus. No. Ow! Walked right into that one. Oh, yes! Damn it. We're doing so well. Oh, wait, no. We want to be down. I see. That actually makes more sense then. It's a hollow here in this mountain. Shh, this is a sacred place. Yes, it is. The storm does not touch here. The great Thunderbirds. Some sort of altar. Let's go take a look. Ultimate perch. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Another monster? Huh? Oh, thunder manifestation. Solidify. What are you ahead of? Oh, no oh yeah, uh, it's Witness running away. Rain outlines your face. Swirling snow. Sucker yeah. swirl. Makes sense, I suppose. This is a place of power for the Thunderbird. How dare you, Mr. Roo? Sorry, don't be mad. Why, 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 why is Paimon sorry? We're not involved in this. Yeah. Uh, I think that answers the question. The Thunderbird was very pissed off that they would dare do this to Roo. Shine down. Huh? song. Calm down, it's been thousands of years since then. Let me leave you a bird. Body and mm. it's co coagulated millennial regret. That's a good name. Body and I. My apologies. Why? Uh, looks like you good. We got to make this guy pipe down a bit, Alice. Ah. Leave me alone. Solidify. I don't think it has anything else to say. Where is it? Yeah, nothing else. Well, that's finally over. Whew, Paimon really broke a sweat back there. Uh huh. And you were doing the fly, and you were doing the fighting, eh? This is, uh, Traveler's sarcastic comments towards Paimon are always great. Oh, come on! Paimon's pawns are getting all clammy watching you fight. I'm so sorry for putting you through that. Don't worry. Next time, I'll let you do it. And I'll get the clammy hands watching you fight. How about that? Wow. I saw everything. That was so cool, Alice. So cool. Hmm. Heh <laughs> I do this all the time. You you truly were impressive. That was very eye-opening. Hmm. Paimon's still concerned about something. Why? Would there be a sort of monster here? We fought one before back on Amu Amakumo Peak. Yeah, Paimon remembers that one too, but... Yeah, it's a thunder... Manifestation of the Thunderbird's power. I mean, that thing truly was a thunder deity. We seem to be forgetting something important. The feather. Oh, that's right! It's, what? What's this got to do with feathers? So, earlier, we took a commission from the Adventurers Guild and went to Seirai Island, Seirai Island to investigate. Yeah. I hate to break it to you, but the Thunderbird is dead. A talking cat? Wow, a talking cat, really? <laughs> yeah, it's a cool cat. Uh, that's not the main point. So, while we were investigating Amakumo Peak, we fought a monster just like this one, after which we got the special feather. Oh, so that's where you got their, your Thunderbird feather, Alice? Yep. 
That means that the thunder manifestations that appeared here in, and on Amakumo Peak must have something to do with the Thunderbird. Yeah. If Sumida were here, she'd say something like, This plot is getting too complicated. This sounds like good foreshadowing material. <laughs> funny. Thank you, we, we try. You don't sound like you found it funny, comma. No, no, I did find it quite amusing. He, ka Kama's a big old rock. A dumb old rock. Still, Paimon thinks that we've got a good picture of what's going on now, eh? Well, almost, but let's be extra sure. That said, Paimon thinks we're more or less got it already. Let's use a Thunderbird Feather one more time. Oh, oh wait, where is it? There it is. Oh, I can actually talk to them now. Oh, Kapat's here. Since you have allowed this one and only... Since you have allowed this one and only song to flow in blood into this earth, then until I, Kana Kapat's here, hear that human ruse song once more, may these lands fall under an eternal catastrophe. Aww. That's what happened. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, we'll be done with this by then. Yeah. It was very angry. It's as I thought. Huh. So that's what happened. And here I thought... Yeah. Any... What kind of horrible deity wants small child to be sacrificed to it. One that it likes, no less. Come on. That's just... That is an evil deity, if anything. That's what you expect from a devil. Not one, not something that should be worshipped. And here I thought... There's the other feather. Oh, there are the other feathers. I thought Capacitor had forgotten about all, about all this. Well, Rue, if you want to fix this, you must sing. I thought that was this happened because she didn't approve of the ceremony, because she didn't like me. Quite the opposite. Oh, man. It's actually, this is actually kind of touching. The, uh, that Kana Kapatser took, eh, took that name to heart. And, uh, in righteous fury at the monstrous deeds of these humans. Cursed them with its righteous fury until such a time when you could hear the voice of the small child again. Hmm. Man, one that should have probably carried on for eternity, but thanks to this, might actually be resolved. Practically brings a tear to the eye. You said that she was your friend. Friends don't forget about their friends, or well, friends' words that easily. She's been waiting for you to sing for her all this time. Yes, you're right. I did tell her that I would sing for her. But I haven't seen her in an awful long time now. <laughs> yeah. Very long time. Hey. Better late than never. Should we tell him? You know, that the Thunderbird was killed on Seirai Island? Uh, this will be tough. Um, so, Rue, the Thunderbird has migrated to Seirai Island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. Didn't we tell you before that we saw this huge storm cloud and a shattered mountain on Seirai Island? That's where the Thunderbird lives now. You know, we 
wanted to go up to Amakumo Peak to see the awesome face of the great Thunderbird. But the Thunderbird was just super busy with bird things, you know. Bird business keeps the Thunderbird busy these days. I don't think, you know, we can get you an audience anytime soon. But if you sing from here, maybe it'll hear you. That's right. And she's had lots of baby Thunderbirds, too. Oh, Paimon, don't, don't, don't stretch it too much. They're all up in the clouds right now, though. And they don't come down much. Baby Thunderbirds? So there's this, this vortex-like storm cloud over Seirai Island. Yeah, that's formed by Kapatsir and the little Thunderbirds as they play and fly in circles. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes lies like this are actually for the best. When the truth will... I, I don't think the truth will do Rue any good. I'd rather... I, I, I think this is for the best. Especially since he has no chance of ever finding out the truth. Since he's a shade bound to this island. Wow, that's amazing! I mean, I've never seen it with my own eyes, but it already sounds unbelievably amazing! Kapatser must have been even mightier than I imagined! Mmm, yep, yeah, a true god. We did say before that we'd go outside on adventures together, didn't we? Yes, I remember. You did say that we'd go see other places, Alice. So, wanna go sing for Kapatser? Even if she's busy and can't you can't see her. Wow, could I really? Of course. Actually, apparently we can take him from the island. But we won't take him up to the top. Just at the foot. Yep. We had an agreement, remember? Alice is not one to go back on her word. Never. Awesome. But I've tried leaving Tsurumi Island before, and I always end up back here again. Eh? Huh. That is a bit of a problem. Has to be a way. Let's discuss the matter. Paimon would like to ask Kama some things as well. Hang on a sec, Rue. Hmm? Alright. Kama! What is it? Were you about to say that the Thunderbird is dead or something? What? No! I was going to talk about a story that Lady Sumida told me. <laughs> Good. That would have been bad. But also, maybe not. Leave the storytelling to us. Who do you take me for? Seriously. How could I tell a child like Rue such a thing? Come on, Paimon. Have a little faith. Uh, I was thinking it as well, though. But Paimon was just... Well... Ugh, enough already! So, about getting Rude off Tsurumi Island. He says that he can't leave this place. Perhaps Tsurumi Island meant sustains his existence in some way. That was kind of my thought. The uh, Thunderbird's power and love of, of, uh, of Rue. Sustaining him in a way aside from the others. Apart from the others. I don't think the Thunderbird would want Rue punished like this, though. Sort of an accident. Hmm, if that's the case, from what we've learned so far, the strange happenings on Surumi Island were caused by the Thunderbird destroying it. It feels like we can follow this line of reasoning to find a solution. We could use the Thunderbird's feathers. Ah! No one gets what you're trying to say. Well, I, I don't. The state of the Sumi Island now is due to a ley line disorder caused by the Thunderbird's power. And this feather, which also has the same power, might be able to sustain Rue's existence. Oh. Paimon, you're a genius. Are we on the same page? Hmm. Basically. Not precisely, but let's go with your idea, Paimon. Hmm. <laughs> you're very clever, Paimon. <laughs> of course. Hmm, comma. Just what is with these two? I think you'd get along with Lady Sumida just fine. 
Maybe. I like her well enough. If I have the time to listen. If I'm in a rush, then uh, it might be a bit of a problem. Huh. I was not sure who if you're if you're complimenting us or. <laughs> she told me a story once about a god of fertility who dwelt within the wheat fields. And wait. <gasps> and who would travel afar with a human. This wasn't called Spice and Wolf, was it? Paimon doesn't want to be mean or anything, but you're picking up her bad habit of going off topic, comma. No, Paimon, you don't understand. Spice and Wolf is amazing. But whatever the case, since we've decided what to do, let's just give it a try. It's better than nothing after all. Hmm. Agreed. Well, if you don't mind, I shan't accompany you on this particular trip. Really? You don't want to see this to conclusion? I'd like to take this opportunity to have a look at the place where my ancestors once stayed. Well, fair enough. It is storming outside, and you could do this later, you know. I know. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I mean, we lived in Inazuma. Stormy days are our bread and butter. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Rue. Let's do this. You're back! Ready to go? Yep, anytime. Well then, touch this Thunderbird feather first. For good luck? Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Something like that. All right. And we're off to Seirai Island. And let's go. I'm going on an adventure with you. Aw. Let's see. Off to Seirai Island. The Sun Wheel and Mount Kana. Wow, so this is the world outside the Sea of Fog. I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. I'm sorry, Alice. It's really great being out here, but my eyes are getting tired. Aw. Damn it! What? Ugh. Is one of my my it's my only real eternal frustration with this game is the those dialogues that go by way too quick. I feel like it'd be such an easy fix too, but I don't know. I'm not a game designer, so maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, did I just die? Didn't let me descend nicely. So up there, that's, that's the Thunderbird's territory. That's right, the Thunderbird Kapatsir's up there in the sky. Sorry we can't take you with us all the way up there, it'd be way too dangerous. She's a little busy and can't come down to hear you sing, but if you do, Paimon's sure she'll hear you. Mm-hmm. Alice, Paimon, actually, I know all about it. Or should I say I've guessed what happened to Kapatsir and to me? Oh, Rue. Damn it. Oh. Well, Rue, we... No, it's all right. I'm so glad I got to know you. I mean, you even got me off Surumi Island to see the outworld outside. <laughs> I guess we did. I could never have imagined that I could do this in the past. You're both really awesome. You're awesome, Rue. Hey, you befriended a giant thunderbird. Such a to, to such a degree that it enacted a wrathful vengeance upon the bastards who tried to kill you. Or successfully did, I don't even know. Regardless, they got what they deserved. Clouds in the sky, the super special grass, and rocks up in the air. These were all Kapatsir's doing, right? She's so cool, too. Yeah, we are in full agreement there. This is my favorite area of the world so far. Just, ah, uh, I love storms like that. It's amazing. It was even cooler when it was 
actively storming still, but it's still really cool. Even the air smells different. I mean, I'm not used to it, but it's amazing. Hmm. Well then, it is not the same anymore, but I've come to sing you a song, Kapatsir. I'm sure she'll hear it, even if she's dead. Aww. Aww. You have a beautiful singing voice, Screw. Aww. Damn it. Mm. Curse you, game. <laughs> Ew, I sure haven't sung in a long time. That was great. Something as simple as that. I'm sure Kapatsir heard me, too. I know she did. Let's head back, then. I'd like to spend this, send this feather back to Kapatsir's home. Yeah. All right, here we are. Huh, how strange. I've only been away for a while, but it feels like it's been ages. Hmm, maybe it has. I'm back, and so is Kapatsir. Yep, the last piece of Kapatsir. So really touching story in the end went from horrified to happy I'm glad to know that Kapatcher was as disgusted with those villagers as I was seen such sights together with everyone. Uh, if only. Ah, uh, but I'm happy just to be able to do it with you two. Still, the world beyond the fog is amazing. I never knew the sky was so high up or so large. <laughs> yeah, basically with this fog, it was kind of like you were just living underground your whole life. I wonder what the places Kama went to were like go see those places. That's right. The outside world is a really big place. We've met lots of interesting and nice people along the way, too. You'll hit it off with them in no time. There's loads and loads of awesome food, too. Sweet madams, almond tofu, sticky honey roasts. <laughs> yeah. I noticed you're picking all the sweet foods there, Paimon. Oh, sweet madams sound like they'll be great. Yes, yes, they are. It's like a whole meal, though, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. We've had a ton of those in our journey, haven't we, Alice? Not as many as you'd think. We are more of a hash brown kind of group here. Sometimes pizza. Sometimes northern apple stew or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. We also met a certain tone-deaf bard during our journey. He loves music, too. Hmm. I bet you would. Uh, I bet he would love to hear your tune there, Rue. I'm not sure you two would be best of friends. Maybe you'll even perform together in Mondstadt City Square. But fortunately, I think this is where Rue's tale ends. And, and, we can take you on adventures. Alice is a real ace at that. We'll go to all sorts of places like the super high up Wangshu Inn. There's also the Grand Arakami Shrine which is way high up too and has a big tree that looks like a kitsune and we can go to Sanganamiya Shrine on Wata, Watatsumi Island that place looks something like a, like something out of a dream that's true that's another one of my favorite places actually 
the clam place. It's beautiful. Yep, I know. And I'd love to follow you all outside as well. Hmm? Thank you, Alice, Paimon. It's all thanks to you that I was able to fulfill my promise with Kapats here. And I guess everyone doesn't look all weird anymore. Hmm. I'm sorry. I thought that you'd broken the perches, and I blamed you for that, even though you're both good people. It's all right. We've been been on lots of adventures and got ourselves into a ton of misunderstandings. <laughs> you, we kind of have. Yeah, at least a few of them. Don't take it to heart. Even And even if you don't want to travel with us, we've got friends who'll take care of you. We know a young lady on your age in Mondstadt's Knights of Avonius. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, Klee's always looking for a play companion. But, uh, yeah, Paimon, I don't think that's how this is going. So, please. Please leave Surumi Island with us, Rue. Oh, Rue. I, when we went to Seirai Island to sing for Cup Hats here, I could feel that a piece of me was in that feather. That's why I'd like you to take that feather of hers while on your travels. Aww. This way, I can travel with the two of you as well. We'll even bring Kapatsu with us too. <laughs> you got it, Rue. I'll take you everywhere. You'll see the whole world. We'll go see the outside world, and we'll hear what songs they have to sing. But... Paimon. Yep. Don't have to worry about me. Rue's a strong kid. He has been around for a long time. It was great going outside, but it was real tiring too. I'd like to rest for a bit. You can go on ahead first. Oh, that's right. Could you please thank Big Brother Kama for me? <laughs> we will. See you around. Let's meet again. Of course. Meet you another time. We'll definitely meet again. Of course. Oh, he's actually not gone yet. Maybe he won't disappear like I thought. Hmm. Truly blessed to have the chance to call you both my friends. Now I wish I could join you on your journey, but I'm really tired right now. I need to sleep. I do hope you're here again when we return to tell you about all our stories, about all our adventures. We'll meet again someday, for sure. Hmm. That one no longer reacts. All right, let's set this quest to its final rest. Ooh, a viewpoint. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. It is a lovely perch. I can see why the Thunderbird liked it. Would have loved to see the Thunderbird, but yeah, we are. Millennia too late. I don't think it was specified. Probably died during the Great God War, the Archon War. Though I suppose that's not the only. I don't think this one died during that time. I think this one was separate. So maybe not. Hey, Kama. How you doing, Sumida? You know what? This story is even more bizarre than the plot of. The Chronicles of the Sea Fog, working title. Yeah, you could call it, uh, hmm, Alice's Bizarre Adventures. How about that? Also, stop calling me Lady This and Lady That already. You're an important friend of mine. She's got a point, comma. Understood, Lady Sumita. <laughs> can feel her angry eyes burrowing into him right now. Oh, 
Come on. Should I call you a pedant for the ages or... Hello there. Oh my, oh my. It's the legendary Alice. And Paimon's the legendary Paimon. <laughs> you quoting Paimon or... Huh, funny. Shouldn't she make the same retort, some retort at this juncture? This feels like we've, we're departing from her character's profile somehow. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. It does. Paimon, fix this. Character profile. Basically, that's what we call a combination of image, uh, traits, and history. Characters must adhere to the behavior prescribed in their profiles, or they will seem, well, out of character. She's got a point, Paimon. People aren't machines, you know. So, sorry. So, what about Rue? Well, he says he's thankful to you. Is that so? I see. Wait, what happened? Why am I the only one person here who, who seems out of the loop here? Ugh, oh, never mind. Let's not stand around here. A change of scenery is in order, I think. How about the Kiminami restaurant? I did agree to take Paimon out for a meal. Sure, I'll pay. And that's what I like to hear. Paimon will eat you into bankruptcy, but... Consider this treat courtesy of a future contracted writer with a yay publishing house and winner of the this novel's amazing grand prize. Hmm. You know, if you can publish this story, I think you actually might. It's a very good story. Man, first in movie deal, and now a wonderful light novel. I'm gonna try to end this cooking a long time. It has been a while since we were at this restaurant. I think we came here with Ayaka. I think it's the same one. Well then, anything you want to eat, don't be shy now. You too, Kama. As for me, I'll start with the tri-flavored skewer. Ooh, what the, what are the three flavors? Hmm. <laughs> Makes make me really hungry. Thank you, Miss Sumida. It's no problem. I've been troubling you all this time after all. Yes, you have. But it was a good story. So I forgive you. The commission has been successfully completed. Indeed, I'd say the results far surpass my expectations. I will be charging a premium for all the extra work, but... I'd only wanted to get one Mashiro at first to use as a reference for my writing. But thanks to your perseverance, I not only got that, but also the story of the Sea of Fog and of the millennia-spanning weight of a young lad on Surmi Island. Seriously, that will win a competition for sure. If it has a competent writer, which I think you probably are. Hmm, my writing was, was better. This story would win me this novel's amazing grand prize for sure. But Kama's also changed quite a bit. I'd say that these are far more important than the completion of the Chronicles of the Sea Fog working title. You should probably finalize that title. We've also met some important friends. We didn't have a chance to travel with Rue, but like he said, we'll definitely meet again. Yes, we will. He'll keep his word. He kept it to the Thunderbird. He'll keep it to us. Yep, I'm not sure he will. After all, he waited for so long just to keep his other promise. <laughs> he did. That's one of my favorite kinds of stories, that a millennia-kept promise. Well then, well then, Miss Sumida, when will we get to read The Chronicles of the Sea Fog? Working title. Uh, well, this... I've decided to stop writing it for now. Damn it, Sumida! What? Wait, what? But we worked so hard to... Ah, uh, no, it's not an issue with you. Please don't misunderstand. I wish to go traveling next. Gather more reference material? I I learned something very important during this commission. In the years prior to this, I lived only to create and write. I learned fishing from Kujirai to write about a character who fishes for a living. 
His... Oh? His character profile was that of a masterful warrior who secluded himself to a fishing village and lived a peaceful life there until... Ahem. Oh, right, sorry. Almost went off topic again. So, in order to better describe parties disca Uh, <laughs> conducting illicit activities under a fictional national lockdown, Kam and I created a smuggling network. <laughs> You sure you should be telling me this? In the open. Bypass the Outlander Affairs Agency. It's actually really impressive. Well, it was Kama's doing. And we discarded that work due to a rear riding bottleneck. Which eventually resulted in the collapse of that network. I've always been, and been like this. I stopped fishing because I stopped writing that fisherman character. I went to apprentice at the Grand Narukami Shrine because I wanted to write about a shrine maiden's work. Man, you really are the Kishibe Rohan of light novelists. But I understand now that I cannot just write, learn, travel, and adventure for the sake of writing novels. Yeah, you should also just do it to live. Enjoy yourself. I must live, learn, travel, adventure, and extract stories from their... From there, from which I shall write novels. Kamo was not born as the last son of Surumi Island for the sake of a story, nor did Rue stay in the Sea of Fog for so many years to be featured in a tale. Perhaps, but I think it is a story that should be told. It's a wonderful story. And that's not why the two of you adventure and travel either, right? When I heard Miss Catherine describe your adventures, I thought to myself, that you are just like the main characters Kino in Kino's Travels and her companion Hermos. I wonder if I can read that. The only difference is that no one has written your story. You are the story itself. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. A pair of outlanders who don't quite fit in anywhere. Those names are Alice and Paimon. They stride across many strange lands and meet all sorts of people. They are drawn into all kinds of wicked plots and all manner of cruel wars. <laughs> yeah, we are. And each one of their adventures shall coalesce into a shining gold. As Paimon has, has mentioned before, such a blurb would definitely suit you too. <laughs> yes, it would. Our adventures just keep getting better and better. As such, aside from asking you two to help me gather reference material, I also wanted to understand you more so that I might find the seeds of a story in the future. I think I found it. The seeds of a story are to be found in life and one's travels, and not in the character profiles, flowcharts, setting maps, and definitely not in things you must you learn just to learn how to write them. Well, those things are still really useful for writing a good story though, Sumida. You shouldn't discard them. As such, I've decided to stop writing and start traveling. But I do respect that. Until the time comes when the story be begins to sprout. And then I'll... Have an easy time. <laughs> have an easy win. And then this novel is amazing competition. Become a writer contracted by Yay Publishing House. Well, uh, never change, Sumida. Dual facepalm. Kama, will you come with me? Ooh, I think he might. We don't know where we're going, nor do we know when we'll return to Inazuma. We might even encounter many dangers, but that's exactly why I'd like you to stay by my side. Aww. Of course, it's fine if you're not willing. I mean, everyone has their own life to lead. <laughs> Story to tell, yeah. I don't mind. No, that's not right. I'm more than willing. Let me come with you. Man, Kama's really changed. He actually has. It's good to see, at least mostly. He still lives for Sumida, but... That's great. Then let's be off. Eh? So suddenly? Well, a real journey is one with that's full of pleasant surprises and little accidents, right? This might be a bit too surprising. But still, please take care of yourselves. 
Yeah. No worries. I'm sure we'll be all right no matter what happens so long as Kama's is around. Take care, you two. Be sure to go visit Rue sometime. Thank you. Goodbye. We should, if we should meet again, then let's do uh, so where the sunset meets the sea. Then I'll see if your soul, which shines, shines so clearly like a diamond, has any dust laid upon it or not. Where's that, though? It's on the horizon. Damn it, Subida. You can't reach the horizon. It's the most, it's the famous closing lines of the Vagabond Novice. Yamabuki Iro no Holu Horotan. Well then, Alice, Paimon, let's part ways here. Actually, it's a really cool farewell if you don't ever expect to really meet them again. It's sort of a let us keep progressing kind of deal. Thunder is forever. Wow. It's so... Three islands tales have been told. Now it is time for A's story to be told. So this is a day in the life of the traveler. Next time, of course. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time.